what is up guys welcome back to to the youtubes it is i k wis and in this video what we're going to be doing is obviously we'll take a look at the standings and we're sort of going to by looking at the last few events left just see how see how the the top 19 is going to stack up and who is really going to have to be looking at that lcq um to get that that qualification spot because with only two events left um dubai this weekend and dreamhack the week weekend after we can sort of see by just looking at who's going and who's potentially going to do well um what the top 19 is going to end up looking like um we're in a very fortunate position we can look at that now um and i'd like to start off just by saying that there are there are quite a few people that are already safe i'd say around kakoma is safe i think kakoma has safety i think he is guaranteed to qualify um, you understand why as I go on, but basically my theory is there are only about five or six players that aren't qualified right now that could be, that could make the potential spots. And with only five people getting in, Kokomo will still be safe. Even if he has less points than them, he'll still be safe in that top 19. Um, so he shouldn't have to worry too much, but he will be going to Dubai and Dreamhack. So he's doing, you most likely get points in both of those events. Maybe not Dubai, but most likely Dreamhack will most likely get points. So he should, he should be, um, he's in a good position right now. Um, when you get to around Shadow, Jimmy and Chanel, Saint and Rest, um, this is where things get really dangerous. Um, especially for, I think, Saint. Because Saint had a very bad performance at TXT the weekend just gone. Um, and that really hurt him. He would have been expecting at least a top three, top two finish there. And finishing fourth um, really hurt him. And it does mean that he'll have to pull out a big, big win in either Dubai or Dreamhack. I forget which one he's going to, but we'll check that in a second. And I think at this point, Rest is is not going to qualify. Um, he is in that 19 spot. It'd be lovely to see I have a Huarang in that top 19, but I don't think he can qualify because he isn't signed up to Dubai and he isn't confirmed yet for Dreamhack. If he doesn't go to Dreamhack and get maybe a top four performance, he is very, very unlikely to qualify. I'd love him to. I'd love to have a Huarang in that top 19, but I'm just... It just isn't looking likely right now, especially with players like a Weiss and a Teeth behind him, John Ding, um, who are all going to most of these events. So looking here, we have a Weiss honey who will be going to Dubai and someone who will be looking to do very well in Dubai. Um, a good performance in Dubai does get him qualified. Winning Dubai, he's 100% qualified. Maybe even a third or fourth place finish, he's a um, guaranteed qualification, you know. Like a good 100 points would, you know, put him, you know, uh, tied with Shadow, who will have to go to Dreamhack to get some points. Uh, moving on down the list, we have, I'd say, around the the area here. I'd say Gen is probably the f furthest down on the list. Tower Cherry Brim Mango, furthest down on the list um, of players who could potentially qualify. And I think um, Gen, players like Gen, Book, and Take, um, they really have the right idea because those three are going to Dreamhack and um, Dubai. Because they understand they need points. They're quite far down below. Um, but they are players who can pull out good performances in these events. So a good um, good on them to definitely be going to get go to both events. And um, then you have, you know, players like Kudans, who I believe he's only going to one of the events. I haven't checked yet. Um, well, I have a list of the events they're going to. Um, but if Kudans is only going to one event and he doesn't do great, um, we won't see Kudans at a World Tour Finals, which should be very... It's very, very odd because he's missed his second place. The guy who always finishes second in the Tekken World Tour Finals. Imagine not having him there. You know, that will be a big, big upset. Um, and then you have the American players like Joey and Speed Kicks who will have to go to DreamHack to actually qualify. Um, unfortunately, um, Speed Kicks is not yet signed up to DreamHack. I'm hoping he's going um, because he'll need to do all he can to get those points. And then you have Kuiper and Asim on the EU side who are both going to Dubai but will have to pull out the best performances they've had all year at Masters events if they do want to qualify. So their chances aren't looking great, but I will be rooting for them. And then you have John Ding, who I believe is going to both events as well. Also has the right idea. Um, could potentially qualify with good events. So he's things are looking up for John Ding as long as he performs well. But unfortunately for Kane and Trench, he actually is not going to Dubai. And I think that throws his qualification chances out the window. He will be going to the big yin, a Dojo 96 in Scotland. Um, but that is not enough to get him qualification, even if he wins that. So we will not have the return of Kane Trent to the World Finals. Missing out on Greece hurt him a lot, but I'm hoping we can see him again next year. Now, I know I didn't move quite far throughout all of that, but um, I think I, I have a little infographic, a little informational infographic that will sort of help you get your mind around what 
is going on at these events um and why i say dubai is probably the hardest tournament to get points all year if you look at this um i have a list of who is signed up to what event who is going to both and if their name's in blue it means that they're qualified most likely they won't really need points they're just sort of they're sort of going maybe to just consolidate their position not redo anything else players in red need points um without without um, getting points to these events, they will most likely not qualify. Even players like Saint and Chanel, who are in the top 19, they are not safe um, because they're so far down below. And then with players like Atif and Weiss and Chabri and Mango and Joey and Speakicks all behind them, um, if they do not get those points, they're going to be in a very bad position. So, um, you can, like I said before, um, there are five players going to both events so far. Dreamhack registration is still open, so that could change. We have Tarke come again, John Ding book. Um, all those players have the right idea. They're not close. I mean, John Ding's quite close to number 20 tied with a Weiss. But with players like a Weiss and a Teeth, I keep mentioning this behind them, um, is not, it is not for granted that they'll do well at both events to get points. So they're not putting all of their eggs in one basket and requiring a win at just one of his events to do well. Um... But Dubai is probably going to be the hardest master event the entire year. Um, I'd put money on Dubai being very entertaining, um, but very heart-wrenching for a lot of these players, especially the players in red that need points. Um, because if you don't look at those players in red, the players in black are players who, they can't qualify, but they're still some of the best players in the world in their own right. I mean, you have players like Casimir, Asan Ali, Sora, Hassan Naruto. So Arsene should be in blue. Um, but I'm using Khan, Bilal, Hira, Malik. These players are all going to Dubai and they are going to ruin someone's day. One of these players in red will most likely be running into them at one point and they're going to be in big, big, big trouble. Um, so definitely keep your eye out on the Dubai Masters event. I will be restreaming that so you can uh, come by the stream for that um, when it's taking place this Friday. Um, but things are looking very scary for all of those players in red. Um, it is do or die for everyone on this side of the list that is in red. It is do or die for them this event. If they do not do well in Dubai, they simply will not qualify. And they have all of these players standing in their way. So definitely keep your eye out on Dubai. Come by the restream and say hey. And yeah, that's going to be all for me. Um, please keep your eye on Dubai. It's probably going to be the best event all year. You are not going to want to miss it. You can watch it right here on the stream. So that's all from me. Uh, thanks for coming by. Please like. Let me know who you think is going to going to be qualifying here. Who's going to pull out that big victory, that big upset? Who's going to be qualified? Who do you think is qualified that's not going to actually make it? Um, let me know. Um, and subscribe. Um, follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. Join the Discord, the K Discord, And I'll catch you guys in the next video.